Welcome! Today I am going to review a submission by a viewer regarding a relationship uh, issue. And in doing so, I am going to briefly explain the role of perception in relational communication and how we make sense of the world through perceptual experiences, explain the importance of mindful listening in relationships, and analyze the role of self-disclosure. So my viewer writes, Dear Tori, I've been talking to a guy from work for about two weeks now. He's great. He's really almost too good to be true. He is funny, thoughtful, and does what he says he is going to do. However, most of our relationship has taken place via text, average 30 texts per day. These texts are fun and flirty, but we've also shared some pretty intimate details about life events. Also, he is evasive when I try to make plans with him to meet face to face. I can tell that he likes me because he initiates the text messages and has told me that he does, but I'm wondering why he is so evasive about meeting face to face. I really like this guy and I don't want to seem like a crazy girl, but at the same time I don't want to play the games or waste time with something that's going nowhere. To make matters even more complicated, we work for the same organization but in different buildings and he outranks me on an organizational chart. He is in no way my supervisor, but I still worry. Should I call it quits or be direct and tell him I don't want to text anymore? Sincerely going crazy. Okay, so to start out, there are a few key terms we need to uh, define. Okay, so first, self-disclosure is self-awareness, self-acceptance, and taking risk of revealing yourself to others. Perception is a social and cognitive process in which people assign meaning to sensory cues. And mindful listening is focused attention on the present and is the mind and body working together to communicate. Okay, so perception is always an active and not passive process. It is fluid and ongoing, and by its very nature, perception forms our reality. So through three basic sub-processes, people establish their perception, and that is selection, organization, and inference making. In this scenario, this person has selected with her sensory cues, this guy is thoughtful, funny, and one who will fall through with what he says, based off these text messages. But after selecting and organizing these cues, she makes inference that he is evasive. He deters conversations when she tries to make plans to meet face to face. Um, and there are numerous reasons why he may be doing this. We don't know that. But what I can tell you is that this will not only affect their communication moving forward, but also her perception of him. All of these points about perception and how we reach one affect uh, the way that we communicate, which then affects our relationships. Therefore, it is pertinent that we are mindful and listen in our relationships to keep them healthy. Now, over text, you aren't exactly listening. Therefore, you can't be mindfully listening. And mindfully listening and mindful listening is defined as, you know, focused attention on the present. Um, so, when you're texting, you're reading and interpreting him from his words. But in order to move forward with good relational communication, you need to have the face-to-face -face interaction. Self-disclosure, self-awareness, self-acceptance, and taking the risk of revealing yourself to others. Self-disclosure will always carry a degree of risk in relational development. And relationships can be classified on a continuum of open to closed. Openness is what the person is willing to share regarding their ideas, their thoughts, their feelings, and reactions to situations. Depending on one's relationship, how open they are is going to vary from relationship to relationship. And in this situation, it sounds like this guy is very comfortable taking a risk and disclosing information over the text messages, um, as she has said that they had shared intimate life events. But face to face, he might be different. It is, it is very difficult to determine or understand why he is willing to disclose information uh, over text message but avoids sharing face-to-face. -face. After going through perception, self-disclosure, and mindful listening, I think it's safe to say that communication is an important skill needed in all aspects of life. And by learning to communicate effectively, we can build lasting and effective relationships, solve problems before they become unmanageable, and eliminate confusion and misunderstanding that does occur, like in this situation. So I think you really need to consider for the future of this relationship how you are going to communicate with them, not over text, but in person. 
He works for the same company in the building across from you. It should be easy to meet in person. With your current perception that he's this great match and that you've disclosed more intimate information with him, I think it's worth it to try, but that mindful listening really needs to come into play for good relational communication to occur.